Hey Aquarius, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are having a great day so far and thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so we are going to use the Rider deck today. This is gonna act as our Oracle deck. It's gonna set the tone for the read. So I'm gonna ask this Rider deck uh, what you're going through. What do you need to hear about uh, today? Was Is there a situation uh, that you're having trouble finding clarity in? Maybe looking for some guidance and being able to make a choice. And we have one that already wanted to pop out, this guy too. That guy wanted to be your card. So we're going to get started with these guys and we're going to see where they go from here. So we have the Fool card. So this Fool card can represent a leap of faith. It can also represent a new perspective. So you might be looking for a new perspective and perhaps even making a choice or tackling some sort of a situation that you're dealing with right now. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So uh, this Knight of Wands, he can represent a few things. He can represent, uh, when he represents a person, he speaks of somebody with a very high energy. Sometimes they act without thinking. I don't... I don't feel like he's speaking to that in this read. I feel like he's speaking to the symbolic side of things, which is uh, sometimes a swift change, a moving or moving on. I do see move, moving, moving on. Uh, perhaps this is this is what you're struggling with to find a new perspective on. You're having trouble moving on, having trouble moving forward, or maybe making a decision about how you're going to do this or whether you're you're ready to do this. I also have the Six of Wands. This Six of Wands, it represents triumph over obstacles. It also speaks to recognition and reward. Uh, you can see there he's got he's got his wand raised high and everyone in the crowd there is cheering him on. So he's being recognized for his wins. I also have the King of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So this King of Cups, uh, Cups can be indicative of a water sign. So when he speaks to a person, he can represent somebody who is a Cancer, a Scorpio, uh, or a Pisces. Uh, Cups is also representative of emotion. So he is the King of Emotion. Uh, and in reverse, he would definitely be speaking to the negative side of emotion. So uh, maybe emotions that you're struggling uh, to deal with, or he could speak to uh, somebody who can be moody or somebody who can be manipulative as well. And this might be part of your Knight of Wands, part of what you're struggling to find a new perspective on. Is this king somebody in your life and somebody who you need to walk away from? And are you ready to walk away from them? Ooh, interesting. And then I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, so wands can be indicative of a fire sign. So you could be talking about an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, possibly. Uh, it is also representative of that that high energy, that passion, that ambition, and that drive. Taken away. I keep getting the words taken away. It's like the passion, the ambition, the drive. It's like this King of Cups is taking that away uh, with whatever it is he's doing with maybe the, the manipulation. The moodiness. Maybe this King of Cups isn't a very nice person. This is the Queen is struggling with this, this moving on. I'm going to pull a few more cards here. I want to see where all this goes. I have the Knight of Swords here. So this Knight of Swords uh, can represent feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. Uh, guys, it, it's the progression of the Eight of Swords. So it can represent anxiety and depression as well. And that would definitely make sense if, if she is struggling with, with moving, with moving on. If this King of Cups is sort of... Um, Playing games, playing mind games. Not a very nice person. And the tower card. So the tower card represents uh, a sudden, sometimes unexpected ending. Uh, I have it tied to that Knight of Wands. This, this is the decision that's being struggled with. Walking away. Uh, this might be a very long-term relationship. Because uh, the tower card can represent something that you thought was solid. Uh, and you've put a lot of work into it and really invested in. So you're going... To shit. So it's, it's, it's very devastating. A lot of really negative emotions come along with the end that goes along with the tower card. And so that would definitely uh, be something that somebody is struggling with. I get pulled back. I get pulled back to the six of wands too. This recognition and reward, recognition and reward. Like she works hard. She works hard. She's trying to maybe make things work, but it's not being recognized by this king. This is part of it. She feels like she's not being recognized. I also have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands represents communication. It can represent swift change or travel as well. So we might be talking about uh, travel with the Knight of Wands. Speaking of moving, moving on. Because when he does speak of moving, like physically moving, he can sometimes reference moving long distances. So this might be part of what's being struggled with as well. Moving. I do see the word swift change in it though too. 
like there's a swift change needed but now i'm tied i'm pulled back to this fool card they're tied together this change of perspective the change of perspective is what's going to bring a swift change this is what's needed a different point of view and the thing about this this nine of swords and it goes with the eight of swords it also goes with the two of swords as well is when you're when you're having trouble finding clarity you're feeling stuck you're feeling trapped you're pulling feeling sort of deadlocked or having that indecision really fighting to find clarity it speaks of taking a step back and looking at your situation from a new perspective to be able to find the clarity and the wisdom that you need. And a lot of times, guys, that does mean taking emotion out of things and looking at things from a more practical point of view because sometimes our emotions can muddy the waters. I have the four of swords. This four of swords represents taking time to heal. This is what we need to do. This is part of this, this change. This is part of what needs to happen. There needs to be time to heal. And this might mean separating the Queen of Wands from the King of Cups. So that uh, this Queen, because I feel more pulled to the Queen. Like we're talking more about the Queen situation in this read. She needs time to heal. She needs time to find clarity. Uh, time to be able to find this, this new perspective. I also have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups represents good news on the way. And Cups is about emotions, guys. This is going to come from the Four of Swords. This is going to come from healing. You won't get this without the Four of Swords. This is going to play a big part in this situation. I also have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands represents a journey over time. This is a relationship, whatever this is, this has been going on for a very long time. I do feel like it is most likely a romantic relationship, a long-term relationship. But I feel like this dynamic has been going on for a long time too. And I do get the word degrading. So like it wasn't always like this, but it was slowly kind of getting worse and worse. And now it's, now it's, it's pretty, I, I don't know that it's unlivable, but it's definitely got the Queen of Wands thinking twice about what she wants to do in life and how she wants to live. I do have the Empress. She's all about growth. She's all about nurturing. In her, I do get pulled back to the four of swords. This time to heal. This is going to allow for growth. Emotional growth, personal growth as well. I also get pulled back to that that six of wands, that recognition and reward, that triumph over obstacles. Uh, this is going to be a growing period in which in which this queen is going to be able to, to understand more about who she is as a person, what she values in life, and uh, the dynamics of the relationships that she has with others. Well, and then I have the Knight of Wands upright. So again, we're talking about a, a swift energy, a change. Uh, we could be speaking about moving, moving on. I feel like this is going to wind up being the end result. Even even if it's even if it's a separation for a short time, enough to heal, enough to find clarity. Uh, this is going to be required. This space, this space and time is required to be able to find this clarity. Because as long as this is going on and we're living in this, it's hard to be able to see things clearly. And then the Six of Wands again, the Six of Wands triumph over obstacles. So I see this situation has the potential to work out quite well. Uh, uh, this this queen is going to be able to find this, this growth, this moving forward. This might even, guys, I'm going to say this might even give this King of Cups the kick in the ass he needs to figure his own shit out too. So it doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the tower card, stay the tower card, and that is the end. This space might give both parties a chance for a new perspective and to be able to come together in a new way uh, and, and really, really get get their shit together and find out, find out what they really appreciate about each other and what they're willing to do to make it work. This isn't I, I get pulled more to the queen in this read and like her view and her perspective, but he's still there too. And, and I don't necessarily feel like he's a son of a bitch, guys. I feel like he's probably got his own shit, his own baggage to deal with, his own reasons for the way of uh, feeling and behaving the way he does. Uh, but as long as this dynamic continues, it's hard for anybody to get any perspective. And perhaps some time apart is the thing that both people need to be able to get perspective. And it might actually give hope to what this is, to salvaging what this is, to a fresh start for this as well. And I also have the chariot card and the chariot card represents that perseverance, that positive movement forward. So moving in a forward positive way. And this might also speak to uh, perhaps forgiveness, perhaps uh, 
uh, trying to find a new way, a new dynamic of being together to salvage whatever this relationship is, build it fresh, build it new and strengthen it. This could also speak to uh, separating oneself from something that is that is abusive, that is manipulative, and then building their life by themselves as well. Everybody's situation is different. So this might be speaking to multiple people uh, with multiple uh, sort of outcomes here, depending on exactly what your situation is. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.